Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Amanda. I'm a second year vet student and today we're breaking down vet school finals, my final exam schedule in second year, and how I've been studying for exams and some tips that I've picked up along the way. Before we get into the video, if you want to see more videos about my journey through vet school or tips on how to get into the veterinary program, make sure you like this video and subscribe down below. And if you ever have any questions about vet school, let me know and I would be happy to answer them. Okay, so vet school finals are a whole nother level of exams. This time last year, I had just finished up my first set of vet school finals. And let me tell you, it was not what I was expecting. I thought I had done four years of undergrad I'd gone through eight seasons of finals I got this no big deal we're gonna get through it everything will be fine everything was not fine <laughs> vet school finals are so different from undergrad and I didn't realize that until I actually got into the vet program so if you are a pre-vet and you're wondering what finals are like in vet school or if you're just curious about how vet students get tested on all the information that is thrown at us then this video is for you so disclaimer before we get into the video I'm a student at the Ontario Veterinary College, so my exam season and my experience writing finals in vet school pertain specifically to OVC. I'm not sure how other vet schools do it, so if you are a student at a different vet school and your exams are completely different than this, let me know down below because I'm really curious to see how other schools test their students. Okay, so before we actually get into my final exam schedule and how I've been studying for vet school finals, I thought I would just give you guys a little bit of an idea of how vet school finals differ from finals in undergrad. So in my opinion, there are three main differences between undergrad and vet school finals, the first one being the number of finals in vet school. So typically for me, one of my semesters was five different courses, which meant I had five finals. However, in vet school, we take a lot more courses than five. So this year in second year, I have eight different finals. And then in my first year of vet school, I had 10 finals in a three week period. The second big difference is the length of courses. In undergrad, my semesters were only four months long. They were either from September to December or January to April. However, in vet school, our courses are year-long courses. So the material that we're tested on for finals starts in September and goes all the way until the end of March. I don't remember what I ate for breakfast yesterday. So me studying for finals, trying to remember what I learned in September, I'm sure you can imagine was a struggle. The third big difference is the weighting of courses. So normally in undergrad, my semesters were five courses with each course being 0.5 of a credit, which meant that my entire semester was 2.5 credits. However, in vet school, courses range from 0.25 credits to 2.75 credits. So this year I had a course that was worth 2.75 credits. So that means that this one course was worth more than my entire one semester of undergrad. Yikes. So now that you have a general idea of how vet school finals differed from undergrad finals for me, let's actually jump into my exam schedule for this year so that you guys have a better idea of what that three week period looks like. Finals in vet school always start the first week of April and go for three weeks. Like I said before, our courses are year long courses. So the material that we're being tested on spans from September to March. In second year of vet school, I had seven different courses but we actually wrote one of our finals in February so that ticked one course off the list before exam season however for exam season this year this is what my schedule looked like the first week of exams I had principles of surgery on Monday and then I had an AVM client simulated interview on Wednesday so that's first week done not too bad now moving on to second week we had our biggest exam for our biggest course of second year, and that is Principles of Disease. Principles of Disease is a three-part exam, so we wrote Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday and Tuesday were written components of the exam where all of the questions were either short or long answer style questions. And then on Wednesday, we had a multiple choice exam for this course. This was the course that I was talking about that was worth 2.75 credits, so it was a ton of content, so much information, and that's why it spanned 
exams over a three day period. Moving on to our third and final week of exams. On the Monday, we had theriogenology. On Wednesday, we had health management. And then on Friday, we had our final exam and that was anesthesia and pharmacology. So that is what a typical exam season looks like in vet school. My exam schedule in first year was pretty similar where we had exams on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, or just thrown throughout the week. Um, but it still was over that three week period of time. Okay, moving on to the part of the video that I'm sure you guys are all waiting for, and that is how to study for final exams. So I don't really know if I've mastered the art of studying for finals. I don't know if I will ever really truly understand how to properly study for finals, but I kind of go in with the mentality of one final at a time and we are all going to get through this and be vets. So just hang in there. But I do have some actual tips written down that really helped me while I was studying for finals this year. So the first tip I have is to prioritize courses that are weighted more than others or that you need know you are going to have difficulty studying for. Even though I wrote eight different finals this year, there was two courses that I knew I was really going to struggle with one being pod and two being anesthesia and pharmacology. So I dedicated more of my time to study for those two courses than I did for any other course. I actually probably spent more time studying for pod than I did for all of my other courses put together. But like I said, pod was worth 2.7 five credits so I knew I needed to dedicate a lot more time to that course versus a course like principles of surgery that was only worth I think 0.5 credits also just the amount of content that was covered in pod I knew I needed to dedicate a good chunk of time just to that course so that I would be able to get through all the content in vet school you really need to learn how to study smarter and what I mean by that is that there are going to be courses that you just honestly cannot get through all the content for and that terrifies me because in undergrad I needed to read over things like a hundred times before exams <laughs> whereas in second year I barely got through all of the content for some of my courses but because I had prioritized my studying and really looked over and focused on the content that I knew I was going to struggle with versus just reading over the content that I was really comfortable with a hundred times I was able to go into the exams feeling a lot more confident than I normally would so the second tip I have is to create a study schedule and this kind of ties into what I was talking about in the first tip. For me, I like to set up my study schedule pretty vaguely. I will go through each one of my courses and I will write down every single lecture or every single lab or piece of content that I need to go through before the final exam. Having a visual of all of the content that I needed to get through allowed me to figure out what I needed to spend more time studying for and dedicate specific days to specific topics. I would love to tell you that I prioritized my time really well and I sat down ahead of exams and I started reviewing content way ahead of time, but I didn't. Honestly, final exams came way quicker than I thought. We had a midterm literally the week before we started finals. So that did not leave me a lot of time before finals started to go over content. For a good majority of time throughout final season, I would study for courses as they came up. So because surgery was my first course, I spent two days before surgery studying for that. Then after surgery was done, then I would focus on my next course. So the only two courses that I spent time studying for before finals started were pod and anesthesia. And when I say I spent time, it wasn't a lot, but I did look at them before finals started. <laughs> I had also made pretty good notes throughout the year for pod and anesthesia, so it was a little bit easier to review the content, and we were also tested on them a lot more throughout the year, so even though it was a lot of content, a lot of it was still pretty fresh in my head. But yeah, that study schedule saved my life. It wasn't even really a schedule, it was just a list of all the stuff that I had to go through, but because I am a very visual learner, it was nice to actually see how much information I had left to come before the day of my final. Okay, so the third tip that I was gonna tell you is how I study for finals, but the reality of it is, is that I study differently for every single course. So tip number three really is study in a way that works best for you. 
There were some courses that I had to create flashcards for because it was very memorization based and that was how I learned them best. So surgery was one of those courses where I would make flashcards for instruments or suture patterns and that really solidified the content in my head. Some courses I made massive master sheets or charts for. Pod was one of those courses because it was really easy to categorize things. We talked about parasites, toxins, and bacteria. So each different parasite or bacteria was really easy to categorize and I found presenting the content in a chart form was really helpful when I was studying. It also allowed me to make these charts throughout the year so that once it got time to finals, it was a lot easier for me to study such a large amount of content. And then the third way that I studied, and honestly the majority of my courses I study this way for, is just reading over my lecture notes. I will annotate my lecture notes as I'm going through the lecture and listening to the recordings. So if there's something I don't understand while I'm listening, I'll make notes of it or I'll write things out in my own words. And then once exams come or once I'm writing finals, I just go back and reread all of the lecture slides that we've done that year. Some people may think this is a really passive way of studying and you know, what it probably is but it seems to work really well for me and if professors are giving me already typed up lecture slides I'm not gonna waste my time retyping those lecture slides if I can just write directly on them and then study them later on with that being said I did retype all of my lectures for anesthesia and farm because I rearranged things so that it made more sense to me. I found the lectures a little confusing and kind of all over the place. So putting it into a format that just made sense in my brain really helped. But in general, I try not to do that because I just genuinely don't have time. So like I said, you really just have to figure out a study method that is gonna work best for you and is gonna let you retain the content in the best way possible. It's gonna vary from person to person. For me, it even varies between class to class. So it really just is trial and error when it comes to different study methods and what is gonna work best for you. And then my fourth and final tip on how to study for finals in vet school is to remember that you are studying for your patients and for your future, not just to get a grade. This was the biggest shift for me from undergrad studying to vet school studying because in undergrad, I was studying just to get into vet school. I didn't retain the content very well. I basically forgot it after I wrote the exam. Whereas now in vet school, I had to shift my studying so that I would actually retain content long-term. Obviously there's still some courses where I read over the notes and I basically forget them a couple days later. But for the most part, I try and really understand the concepts that I know I'm gonna take with me and use all the time in my career as a vet. Now I really do try and study the content to understand it and to be able to apply it versus just memorizing it and regurgitating it for a test. I mean, pod basically all left my brain once I wrote that exam, but looking back, uh, there is some stuff that still stayed in my head and it's the stuff that I'm gonna use all the time as a vet. So there you have it. That is vet school finals broken down and how I try and study for so much content in such a short amount of time. Vet school finals are a really overwhelming time. So if you are going through finals now, be really proud of yourself. You've worked so hard all year and be confident in that fact. Be confident in your abilities as a student and your abilities as a future vet. Easier said than done, but don't let the exam intimidate you. You got this. I believe in you and you should believe in yourself too. Wow, I could have used that pep talk before pod, but here we are. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video gave you a little bit of a better idea of what vet school finals are like. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down below and I will make sure to answer them. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!